Hey guys, welcome back to Easy Country Cooking and Cooking Cheer. You know, it's New Year's and a guy or a gal or a fella or a fella at whatever you want to call yourselves has to have, in the words of the great Archie Bunker, some snicks and snacks. So I decided to make up a bacon and pineapple cheese ball. Came out absolutely fantastic. So let me show you how to do this. Okay guys, I'm gonna start by frying up some bacon and I'm gonna make a bit extra here because it never hurts to have it kicking around. And we're gonna fry this for a little bit just so it's on the crispy side. And I don't know guys, I say this in every video, but there's just something about bacon frying, especially in the morning. It's just about zombie-like, hypnotic. You know what I mean? Mm, it smells so good. Once it's all fried up, just go ahead and set it aside on a wire rack to drain. Once we're draining and all cooled off, I'm gonna grab a good sharp knife and cut this into kind of small bite-sized chunks. Next up, I'm gonna grab a package of cream cheese. And this is just uh, Philadelphia cream cheese, guys. You can use whatever cream cheese you like, but one really important thing is to make sure it's at room temperature. Otherwise, it's kind of like stiff as a board and really hard to work with. So we'll just go ahead and throw this into a mixing bowl. In with the bacon we worked so hard to fry up. Add in about a cup of crushed pineapple. You can use pineapple tidbits too. Slice up a green onion. Throw about half of it into the mix. Then about a teaspoon of the old garlic powder that I use all the time and love so much. A couple of teaspoons of the old W sauce. You know, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, whatever. A few cracks of salt just to bring out those flavors. Not too much though. And of course, some ground black pepier. About, oh, I'd say a teaspoon of this. By the way, that's pepper in layman's terms. If you're not all fancy like me, I'm just kidding. Grab up the spoon or whatever mixing device you have and just kind of mix everything together until it becomes really well combined. Now, a couple of things here, guys. Yeah, you can use a stand mixer for this. I'm just doing it by hand. A little bit gooey to do it by hand. And also, this is what I put in my cheese ball, you know. I'm trying to keep it simple, but it's good. But you could also put whatever complements a cheese ball in there, like some dill or paprika, whatever you like. But I think this is going to be pretty good as is. Okie dokie, now what I'm gonna do is line a clean bowl with some cling wrap. Then go ahead and add that cream cheese mixture over top of the cling wrap. Grab up the edges and seal them up as best as you can. And then I'm gonna go ahead and form this into a nice clean ball. Isn't that easy and non-messical? Now we're gonna slip this in the fridge for an hour or so or in the freezer for half an hour just to firm up. Alrighty then, what I've got here is a cup or so of crushed pineapple. You could even bake these up to make them really good. Throw in a good handful of bacon, the rest of the green part of the green onions, and go ahead and give everything a good mix of rooney. And of course, guys, you know, you could add whatever you like to this, some pecans, whatever. Um, but this is pretty good for me, about three things. You could even add some cheese in here, but you know, I think that's a bit of an overkill. Okay, I've had my cheese ball in the freezer for about half an hour or so, so I'm going to remove it from the cling wrap. Then just kind of repack it into a ball, but this is about perfect here, guys. And you got it. We're just simply going to roll it around that crushed walnut mixture until it's completely covered and looks like a cheese ball. And really, my friends, doesn't this look all fancy and pretty-like and all that stuff? I think it looks pretty good anyway. So, eyes is just going to set this on a chattery board to be all professional and fancy-like. And there will be, guys, our easy and yummy bacon and pineapple cheese ball. Served up the crackers of your choice, I have to say this looks pretty mighty fine. Alrighty then, let's give this a taste. I'm going to grab up just some Ritz crackers here. And I'm just going to come in, let me see, from the side here. Oh, get a whole bunch of everything and just look at this, guys. Doesn't this look so good? Without the word of a lie, guys, this is so good. Of course, you know, you combine Worcestershire sauce and garlic, you got me, but mm, by far one of the best cheese balls I've ever had. I just love the, uh, the cream cheese, the garlic, the Worcestershire sauce, the walnuts, just everything, and the pineapple especially. Mm, just so good, gotta make it. And if you do, leave us a comment, give us a like, because it does help the channel out. And most of all, if you're so inclined, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. And see you next time.